Carrie Underwood and Barry Manilow have performed in Youngstown this year. Plus, more big names are also coming. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed looked into the local in event industry and she tells us how all that success brings more than just music to downtown. Youngstown's growing success in music entertainment has helped to compete with nearby cities like Pittsburgh and Cleveland. And the more sold out shows that we have, the more regional draw our visitors bureau is able to sort of attach to all the good that's happening in Youngstown. They're able to they're able to go out and sell that. McGiffin says five years ago, Youngstown's venues would not have sold out as many of their concerts, but sell out they have. Even on a Tuesday night, a weekday, ZZ Top performed to a pack house at Stambaugh, and on the same night, Elton John sold out Cavelli Center. Leaders credit the success to management groups like Eric Ryan Productions, which runs the city's Cavelli Center in Packard Hall in Warren. And when you're talking to managers and agents across the country, you need to be able to tell them a story. And our story is simply this. We're a small market, but we're a market that supports the arena, we're a market that supports the arts, and, and that we're a market that will sell tickets. He says Cavelli Center hosted 86 events last year, giving the city more than $500,000 in revenue. That success from the arena has led to a new project, an amphitheater in Urban Park right next door to Cavelli. It'll give a new outdoor atmosphere and will hold community events and more big concerts. It's going to be the front door of downtown. You know, the Urban Park and the ability to be able to really reach out to the community as a whole to me is what the is what the park is all about with the hopes that it's the music that will make the people of Youngstown come together Molly Reed WKBN 27 first news